Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and thank you very much for taking the time to take a look at this video. What I'd like to do is take just a few moments and suggest an alternative method to create wireframe geometry from a solid model. Now you might be asking yourself, why would you want to create wireframe geometry from a solid? Well, in this example, I might want to profile around the outside, or maybe perform some precision counterboring on these holes right here. Well, in that case, I might want to create some wireframe geometry. Now, before we dig deep into this suggested method for creating geometry, let's take a closer look at solids in general. Now, CAD systems, or solid modelers, when they create a solid model, they use something called BREPs. Now, BREP is a abbreviation for boundary representation. So if I zoom in on this part a little bit here, you can see we have these different faces. And I want you to think of these as different boundary representations, as different BREPs. In fact, if we take a look at this group of snapshots here, you can see here's a Here's a solid model. You can see all the different B reps here. We're going to focus in on just this area right here. You can see again the different B reps. And then as we get in really close, you can see that a B rep can leave a gap. You can see that where those two B reps meet, there can be a gap there. Now the reason it's important to understand that there can be a gap between B reps is that if you were to use the 1CNC extract tools, 1CNC is going to create geometry at the mathematical center of that gap. So I want you to picture a gap and then at the very center of that gap a brand new edge that was created by the extract tools. Now because brand new geometry is being created at the very mathematical center of that gap, that new geometry can be comprised of small pieces of geometry. You may have seen this in the past when extracting geometry from a solid model or a group of surfaces that you end up with these small pieces of geometry and that's because there was a gap in between the B-reps. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of these commands as yes a great way to extract geometry but they're not the only way. There's other ways that are suggested and in some cases preferred in regards to creating the geometry. And that's what I'd like to do now is, is show you how to do that. What I'd like to suggest to use is the section model command. So let's come down here to the lower left hand corner of the screen and down here you're going to see this option right here. If you click this you can see you have your section model command. Let's talk about this and talk about how this works. You're presented with a slider here and as I move the slider to the left you can see that one CNC is sectioning the solid model. Notice also over here on the right there's an input field and within this input field you can enter a value or you can just use the default increments that it's using to snap as we push through here. In this example I'm going to leave it set to zero. At zero I'm going to click add to screen and what that does is that creates wireframe geometry at Z0. Now let's say I want to create geometry at the bottom of the part or for these holes right here. Well using the same technique I can use the slider and when I get to whatever Z level I want to I can click add to screen and that's going to create wireframe geometry at that level. In fact let's select the solid model I'm going to hit the letter B on the keyboard as the blank shortcut to hide that and you can see there's the wireframe geometry. So this is an optional way to think about when it comes time to extracting geometry. In some cases it can be the preferred method of doing that. When you use this technique, when you use the section model tool, you're not going to have those small little intersection pieces of geometry. Let's take a look at another example. Alright, so in this example you can see we have some different details. We can use exactly the same technique here. We'll come down here to the section model command and then if I want geometry up here at the top we can leave this set to zero and click add to screen. Then if I want to create geometry at the base here I can slide this down wait till I get to the proper level and click add to screen. Don't forget that when you perform a profile operation one CNC doesn't care what Z level the geometry is located. Okay so as I 
click the close button there again let's select the model hit the letter B on the keyboard and you can see there's the geometry now let's talk about extract a little bit more for a second let's bring back our solid model I'm gonna come over here and use the extract and edge command I'm gonna left click right here and then right hand mouse click as I do that within one CNC you'll notice that a new layer has been created and that extracted geometry has been placed on that layer. The reason why this happens is because one CNC is providing a convenient way for you to keep track of all your extracted geometry. All right, let's take this a step further now. Let's take a look at a more complicated part. Now this is a five axis part, but I want to demonstrate how you can use the section tool on this as well. Let's say for example that I wanted to create geometry for this counter bore right here. Well remember the section tool is going to create section normal to the current construction plane. So by default if I head over here to section, let's push this menu up here. As I push this you can see that the sectioning is happening normal to the current construction plane. Okay, so what you can do is quickly come down here to your construction plane tools and using this command right here, which is really the fastest one, create plane from surface, just left hand mouse click and now there's a construction plane created coplanar to this face. Now the section command is going to work normal to that. Okay, so with that normal to that, we can leave it at zero, and ultimately that's what I want to do, but you can see now the sectioning has taken place normal to that. I'm going to click Add to Screen, and there we go. There's the wireframe geometry there. Let's give you another example. Let's create geometry on, let's say, this face right here. So again, just quickly go into your construction plane tools, and using this command here, the third one from the left, you can simply snap the face. Now there's a construction plane created there, and now you can use your section tool for creating geometry using that if you'd like, just by pushing it backwards and forwards. I'm going to leave it at zero and click Add to Screen. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it helped out. Just remember that the section model command is an alternative method and sometimes a suggested method when it comes to extracting geometry from your more complex solids and surfaces. When it comes to simple prismatic parts, then the good old extract tools work just fine. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.